Today I'm back to working on my Sharp GF 9797 boombox that I'm in the process of restoring. Today I'm going to fiddle around with the cassette mechanism. I'm going to go ahead and try to adjust the azimuth which is right here on the on the left side and for that I have the boombox hooked up to my dummy load here in the four ohm position. I've got both channels hooked up and this is coming into the external uh, speaker connections of the boombox. Also I have my <clears throat> my Tektronics my Tektronix oscilloscope hooked up and I have um, test tape which in this instance I made it myself since my other one the factory made one I had is broken forgot to mention that the oscilloscope probes are hooked up to the loudspeaker cables which are coming out of the dummy dummy load also I have to have both the tape selector switch in the normal position and the Dolby position in the off position that's the switch out and of course it, I think this cassette player takes plays normal or metal tape and that has to be both of them have to be in the off position I also have the balance position in the middle right in the middle and I got the the volume turned all the way up and right now before my adjustment the signals taken about taking up about two radicals of space here vertical and I'm gonna go so ahead and see if I make the adjustment if I can get it to go a little bit higher I don't think it's gonna make very much of a difference maybe just a little bit so this is what happened when I move the screw to the left basically seems like I loosened it up you can see the amplitude has went down so obviously I'm going in the wrong direction and of course I got the, the test tape I've got that playing while I'm adjusting so I can't do it actually while I'm running the camera so now I'm going to go ahead and turn in the other direction before initially I started out with the signal taking up two basically the, had a vertical length of two squares now I'm going to see if I can get it to go up okay I only managed a slight improvement before it was two and now it's a little bit above that I'm going to go ahead and I believe I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that now here's what happened when I went a good ways clockwise Initially, I started out by turning the screw to the left. I went counterclockwise, and then the signal went down. Then I started, I went back and started turning the screw clockwise. The signal went up to a maximum, and at least as high as I could get it. And then, if I keep going now, I kept going clockwise, the signal started to go back down. So that's definitely not. Um, the right way I'm gonna to have to go back to go turn it counterclockwise again and reach that maximum point then I'm gonna go ahead and put some nail polish polish on it to uh, make sure the screw stays in place and then work on the rest of the mechanism I think the pinch roller needs to be changed too